What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, folks, how's it going? Uh, this is Mr. Warmack. I'm in the building, and I'm, I'm doing a follow-up video to the Dame Dash interview on Power 105 because something happened recently. And, Jonathan, why do why are blacks always out here cooning like this? Let me see, look. Jonathan don't even doesn't know why. He has to think about it for a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan, good luck, President Nigeria. Like I said, he can't understand why people are doing this. And this is the topic in four, three, two, one, now. There we go. This is what I'm gonna tell you guys. This is why and you're gonna ask why does this have what does this have to do with the topic of the Power 105 interview? Well, I was sent I was sent a video. Where the one of the interviewers, Charlemagne, I think his name is, the God, or whatever, he uh, interviewed with this one, uh, this one uh, white fella, they had his uh, podcast or whatever, and they were there talking this and that, and all of a sudden they got on the topic of the interview, and they said that the, the, the dude prodded him, and he's you know, and then Charlemagne had to put poke his chest out, this and that, but uh, it looked like they were friends to begin with, so. Go, for, who knows? But uh, he said something to the fact that how Dane never said about how do people are going to get the money to start their businesses. Then they were saying how Dane was talking. Well, the paraphrase it seemed like to me they were talking like Dane was talking on top of the mountain as Dane was talking in circles, this and that. Well, they actually, Charlemagne actually said Dane was talking in circles. Now, here's the problem I have with this. See, Charlemagne has earned his tap dancing shoes. That solidified it for me. I kind of knew he was like that. I mean, from the stuff I've seen on, I mean, I know he has to put a character on, but that interview solidified his tap dancing shoes for me. Now, the problem with his interview is he forgets that I saw the Power 105 interview, and he forgets what he apparently asked Dame. He asked Dame, and I'm only focusing on the ent entrepreneurial part for black folks. I'm not concerned with the other mess they're talking about, because that that, that's just mess. And I'm not concerned with that because that, that, that doesn't raise the status of black folks. That just keeps us continuing in the mire. But uh, he said that Dame never answered his question. Well, it seems to me that Dame answered your question when you said, is it okay for black folks to use the money that they work for to start their business? And when he said yes, I thought that was an answer. You asked that question, son. And he gave you an answer. But you go on this, <coughs> you go on this other show. You shine your shoes up real good, and you get the tap dancing. And then, and then I saw that. I said, "Hold on, man!" I said, "I saw that." And then the comments below—that's when the rest of y'all coons start trolling on in. Well, I knew it. Uh, that's right, man. You tell them. And I'm like, "Come on, man!" And then there was a tone of the conversation. It's just, just, it, it just. I, I, I mean, maybe, maybe, I, I'll apologize up front if you if you made a mistake in the set because only it was like a two part video. I didn't watch the second part, so if you if you if you apologize or said something different in the second part, I'm apologizing right now. But you didn't in that first part. In that first part, you you tap danced. I mean, the dude did. I mean, if you watch this video, I'm, 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 trying, I'm trying to get the link of it. Uh, he tap danced. All you gotta do is type in Damon Dash Power 105 interview. And the dude told him, well, that he said, um, well, you stayed firm, and then the dude was pumping him up. And he fell for what he tries to do to other people, but I mean, I, but I, I, that's that's why I don't listen to those radio stations anymore because they're they're, they're, they're look look who's up in, they're a bunch of cornballs, man. Look at them. Why do you think Fredro was about to about to get in his behind? There's a reason for this stuff. I just didn't like the fact that he he didn't say none of this stuff that he was saying on that show to Dame. And, 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 and like I said, whenever he got on, whenever he got on the white dude show, it's time to pull out your straw hat and your cane and get the tap dancing. But this is what goes to show you people. I've been telling you this for a long time. These guys have an agenda on these radio stations. They have to do this. They have to. I mean, I mean, I mean they have to do it because they think they think it'll keep them relevant. It'll keep them keep them in the headlines. But to me, it was just a damn shame that this dude had to go on this other white dude station and start tap dancing for dollars. And he, well, I don't know if he was tap dancing. If he was tap dancing for dollars, that, you know, that's one thing. But if he was tap dancing for free, you should have better off going on down the station and shining shoes or something, bro. 
So like I said, I saw the Power 105 interview when you asked, when he asked him, uh, well, what about people that uh, that work? Can they use their money from their job to start a business? And Dame said, yeah, that was your answer. May have been the answer you wanted to hear, but that was your answer. You're saying he didn't say anything. I saw the interview. You, you, and I know you're going to probably go back and write something say you misspoke or something, but you didn't misspoke because all you were doing, while you, well, look, man, these people are dancing bears at the circus. They have a treat in the air. They spin the dancing. You ever see them dancing bears with a dress and a tiara? They spin the bear around. And the night they they playing the nice little ukulele and the little organ music, you know. And that's how it was to me. The dude was a dancing bear on this show, on this on this video. But this is what you people have to look forward to. You people have to be smart than that. You people got to understand the tones of the conversation. I mean, he. It's just a lot of things that black folks are not up to date on. And I don't know why. I mean, maybe it's the, maybe it's true what they say about learning. I don't know. But if you if you look at the interview, then you go look at the interview that he did with this white dude. He tap danced for him. So that's all I gotta say is, but look, you know, at the end of the day, you know, picture says a thousand words. So all I can say is this.